Hey, I want to talk about concentration percentage math. And uh, it's something that a lot of people struggle with when they're first learning uh, pharmacy tech math. And so I want to clarify something real quick. And the most important thing to remember about concentration percentages is that 1 over 100 equals 1%. And that also, for another example, 16 over 100 equals 16 percent. And so obviously you can see the pattern there that any number less than 100 um, that you put over 100 and make a fraction equals that number as a percent. Okay, so uh, let's apply that to a question, a kind of question that you'll see quite a bit of in practice quizzes and on the uh, test. And it says, how many grams of drug P would be needed to compound 750 milliliters of a 15% solution? So what we're going to do here is we're going to use proportions math. And uh, let's go ahead and set up our formula down here. So we know that 15 over 100 would equal 15%. And we know we want to make a 750 milliliter solution. So we have three factors. And uh, if we can find out the unknown right here, we'll know how many grams of drug P to use in uh, 750 milliliters. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. We'll go with our first step this way. 750 multiplied by 15 is 11,000. 250, and then if we divide that by 100, we get 112.5, which would be grams. And uh, so that's actually the answer to our question. That's how many grams of drug P we would need in order to compound 750 milliliters of a 15% solution. And so just to double check our answer, we'll take 112.5 and we'll divide it by 750. And so what we get there is 0.15, which is the same as 15%. So we know our answer is correct. And uh, pretty much if you can remember this, this is going to be one way you can tackle a lot of your proportion math and concentration percentage math problems.